Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to extract models from Battlefront 2. So first you want to go head over to Blender, download Blender, it's free, so go ahead and download that. Next, you're going to want to go to frostytoolsuite.com and head over to the download section and download the editor. So once you've downloaded that, set it all up in your folder and load it up, frosty editor. Then you're gonna free you once you've installed it. You're gonna want to find the location of your games. So for me, it's G Game Star Wars Battlefront 2. Select and then open it up. And if this comes up, just click next and then close this and it should load up. So once you've done that and you've got Blender and Frosty, for this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the basic uh, prequel trooper. So to do that, you're going to want to open the folder of characters, head on over and click Light Assault Prequel. There we go. So for this, you're going to want to find the mesh. These are the models. So if I click Helmet Mesh, it will start loading it all up. And there you have it. The model ready to go so once you've got that open open up the mesh as well and there's the body then you're going to want to open one more thing you're going to want to type in gloves head on over to body parts gloves 3 and open the mesh there we go so next, what you want to do is you want to export each one. So you can export the helmet. You can select a skeleton if you want. So you got to go to characters, rigs, humanoids. And for every uh, human character that you want to extract, you just select human male, warlet, walrus for their uh, skeleton and then click export to the folder of your choice as an FBX save then you, you're going to want to repeat that for the next the other objects that you want so rigs humanoids click export so once you've got all three exported you're going to want to head over and find the textures. So for the gloves, you're going to want to install these three. So select this one, open it up, export the texture as a PNG. There we go. Next one, open it up, export PNG. There we go. Those are the textures for the gloves. Then you want to go. You are going to want to close down all of these, which are located in the texture folder, and open up the body, normal, and AOS, AOSL. These three. You're going to want to export all three of these. You're going to want to repeat this process for the body, helmet. Make sure it's prequel one helmet. Once you've done that, you're going to want to open Blender. There we go. Open up a new project. Click A to select all. Then delete. Then what you're going to want to do is file, import, FBX. And find the models that you downloaded. So in my case, it would be these three. Import FBX, scale them up, scale them up a bit, or select A, scale them all up. There we go. And you're going to notice it's a bit of a mess right now, so just hide all the bones. Then you're going to have a lot of uh, items in your collection. So 
what you're going to want to do is delete everything that's not LOD0 for each, uh, each part. There we go. So that's your model right there. So, next, when you want to apply the textures, you're going to want to open a new uh, tab, go to Shader Editor. The thing is, to apply these textures, it's a special process. So what you're going to want to do is click the link in the description and head on over to Battlefront 2 Creation Tutorials and click latest material node group for Blender. Head on over to the Google Drive and download. Once you've done that, head on over to Blender, file, append the file that you've just downloaded. Find the Battlefront node right here or whatever the node's called when you download it. Select material, oh no, sorry, node tree, and import the simple, Battlefront 2 simple, append. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is delete the principal shader, Shift A, group, Star Wars Battlefront 2 simple, and then Control Shift, click, to join these two together. If so now what you're going to want to do is find your textures. So for me it's in this folder and you're going to want to find the helmet ones. So for this take the helmet color ASOL. Join this to C ASOL to here switch that to non-color and helmet to normal and also join this join the alpha to the S there we go and if we go into material preview you'll see that the texture is loaded in so next you're going to want to repeat the process for the other body parts There we go. Finally, we're going to do the gloves. And there you have it. The textures are now applied. So now, once you've applied all your textures, your model is ready to go. Then what you're going to want to do is the armature might be a, a bit messy so what you're going to want to do is just you can delete the armature if you want it's up to you really or what you could do is delete the armature and re-rig it yourself or you can head on over to Mixamo but first just click A and then Control J there we go and we've joined it and then just delete the rest. And join the all the objects together. Now you've got your model. So you can click file, export, FBX, downloads, wherever you want to do it. I'm just going to put it here. Export FBX. Now Head on over to Mixamo.com if you want to rig this quickly. Then what you can do is upload character, select file, and find that exported model. Open, then it will process your character. So 
so yeah there we go then you can download the model once you're done and in the end you can use it for whatever you want I've used it to make this thumbnail so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys if you have any questions just leave it down in the comments below and I'll catch you guys next time peace